hello friends today we are going to create a database connectivity program in visual c++ we are going to use access as a database and odbc to connect it with our visual c++ program odbc stands for open database connectivity and it is mainly created in such a way so that different types of database can be connected with application easily and all this thing can be done with uh, the help of OD ODBC drivers. ODBC drivers are uh, one type of uh, translation layer that actually connect with your DBMS and uh, uh, with the set of the ODBC functions you can actually operate, uh, do your operation, different type of the operations in database and uh, this uh, there are lots of uh, different types of uh, drivers so ODBC drivers so you can easily connect with most of the or a major database uh, available in the market you can even connect with uh, Microsoft Excel and CSV uh, so that is that was ODBC and uh, we are going to use it to connect it with our Visual C++ program first of all you have to create one database we are going to create it in Access so all programs and go to Microsoft Office Microsoft Office Access 2007 okay okay let's create a new database we are going to get a name use db something like that create okay right click on the database and uh, go to design view it will allow us to change the name of the table uh, we are going to give a name stud and ts students okay now id is okay we are going to create a few fields which we are we will fetch in our application like a name student name and uh, let's type this text okay and uh, um, roll number let's give it number okay if we close it it is going to ask to save us yes and uh, now let's save it as a 2003 format save this database in 2002-2003 format I'm going to save it in my one of the drive okay it's done we have created our database let's close it now we have to create a data source uh, to uh, connect it with our application so go to start menu control panel administrative tools and ODBC uh, use DNS you have to add new DNS click add new and uh, go to Microsoft access driver MDB click finish it will open a one new pop-up to create a new data source name give it a name whatever you want we are going to give it uh, using database description learn how to use database okay now we can select our database right now I am in uh, F drive I think I saved it in E drive okay in e drive use db i have selected it ok and uh, then click ok the database is added there uh, you can see it using database here it is ok ok our data is, uh, source is created now click ok let us go to our 
visual c plus plus create new project oh sorry i create click new file new projects and select mfcf wizard or project names or let's use database okay click ok now select single document next if i go to in next uh, if i see in the step two there are four different ways available we can create sdi single interface document project so here is a header file only this uh, if we create this type of uh, project it will add only header files but uh, for the databases you will see here there are two type of types of uh, uh, selection we have available the first one is view without file support and the second one is view with file support this there are not uh, too much difference here with the file support there will be a file menu and uh, with the file support there will be a file menu and without file support the file menu was not visible there then click data source you have to select the data sources that are available uh, it seems our data source that we have created should be available here oh here it is using database once you create a data source over there it will be available here okay choose a snapshot and click ok as soon as you will click ok it will open a new dialog and the, all the tables in your database will be listed here and we have only one table so they are showing it here select that and click ok next you can click uh, finish ok and we have our project available now let's uh, put some labels and change its property to change its name to name for the student and uh, another one for the roll number okay text boxes to one and is the second okay so now we have two edit box controls here one for the name one for the roll number but uh, before starting every, uh, we, now we have to attach uh, number variable with uh, this edit box control but uh, we do not have added any content in our database to show here so let us first uh, add some content over there let's go to my computer e drive use db, DB. We will click on students, student names, um, Rajesh, roll number 1, then Ramesh, roll number 2, then Sita, roll number 3, then Gita, roll number 4, I think it's enough now, okay. All our database data is all here and now we can close it okay let's go back to our program i'm going to compile and execute it press f5 yes okay uh, uh, as you can see now our dialog box is visible here and uh, there is no data coming over there to show the data we have to attach this edit box control with the member variable that are automatically created for us so let us do that select the first edit box control i think I sh we should change its property and change its name it is a name 
and this one is a roll number so property and roll number okay now first select the first edit control and press control w to open mfc class wizard and uh, go to member variable tab then select the, fir the first one is automatically selected and uh, click add variable if you click in the drop down box you will see there are different uh, member variables available these variables are fetched from our uh, database you can see its name are as our column name okay here is a, our student name uh, so in the category value is okay variable type c string is okay now in the roll number click add variable select the roll number one value is okay and its uh, type is long it is also okay you can uh, also choose integer here okay but long is also okay click ok then ok now let's execute our program again click yes and you see our the values are coming from the database click next click next click next okay as you can see all the data are coming from our database hope you like this video if you like it please share it and uh, thank you for watching video see you in next video bye